22 year old Taylor Trammell was traded to the Seattle Mariners last week as part of a seven player deal with the San Diego Padres. He's currently at their alternate site in Tacoma, Washington. Taylor has written an article that appeared recently in the Players Tribune titled Baseball is not black enough. And Taylor joins us now here on MLB Central. Taylor, what was your motivation for writing this piece in the Players Tribune? Honestly, uh, my life. Uh, I really, they, they contacted me and they said they wanted to do a story. And for me, I, I was like, absolutely, sure. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to uh, turn that down. But, uh, and honestly, the motivation was what I've lived through and what I've seen other people live through. Taylor, we have an excerpt of that article, and I want to read a portion of it now, and we can also put that up on the screen. Part of that article, you write, a lot of people don't even know how hard it was for me as a black guy to even be in this position. I feel like we don't talk enough about why these aren't, why there aren't a lot of black people in professional baseball, whether that's minors or MLB. So what can baseball do to become more inclusive? Yeah, for me, it was, uh, it would probably be being more you know, appealing to everybody. Uh, a lot of things that I get from a lot of guys is that baseball is boring. You know, um, baseball is a, um, you know, from certain guys that I know within the, uh, with that played baseball and then they don't anymore. They say it's boring. You know, it's, uh, you know, they don't, not enough emotion, uh, you know, a lot of guys get upset when uh, you show emotion, you show that you're passionate about the game. And then usually a lot of people say, you know, put your head down and just play the game. And for me, I, I don't do that. I love to, you know, be myself out on the field. And that's what I, I've seen within a lot of people uh, who have talked about it. Taylor, take me through your youth growing up then you had to be a multi-sport star growing up in Georgia what was the appeal to baseball for you because you obviously didn't find it boring growing up yes um so I, I for me I loved I love I've always loved baseball and I, I was multi-sport in high school and growing up I played football and baseball and for me it was just being able to go out there. I didn't like practice for football. That was number no one. Ones. I didn't like practice. <laughs> no you, know, practice uh, you know, two days weren't for me. <laughs> but uh, for me, it was a lot of times um, growing up, uh, my parents had to make a lot of sacrifices uh, for me to play baseball. And well, it'd be two jobs or, um, you know, being able to pay for, you know, equipment, bats, uh, gloves, cleats, anything and everything, uh, tournaments, travel ball, getting exposure. Like yeah. my parents made a lot of sacrifices for that. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm forever in debt to them because, you know, they, they sacrificed so much for me, including my brother to be in that, uh, to be in the position that I am today. Um, and, you know, I didn't really make the, uh, decision. I think that, um, you know, if it really came down to it, if I, had to go to college um because i came out of high school if i had to go to college i don't know why well, i would have played uh baseball but if you know certain things would have happened and i didn't have any scholarship money like i would have probably had to play football uh hmm. where uh you know it was a full ride and i didn't want to put that burden on my parents taylor uh for for those that are they're watching this now and and in the article you detail your you know, the state of policing in this country and, and social justice for people that are watching this. They just say, why? Why now? I, I, I don't want sports. I don't want politics in my sports. I don't want to talk and hear about race when it comes to sports. Uh, you say what? I say that it's what we live through. Um, you know, for example, I was I was driving today and I think I was going probably. Uh, I don't know, I probably was going like four miles per, uh, per hour over the limit. Um, just going down the hill and, you know, I saw an officer and like my immediate reaction was like, okay, like let's, it's these things that go through my head and these things that, uh, guys that are within this sport, uh, within all of sports, they go through the same things because they've seen it, um, whether it be firsthand. Uh, and I talked about that in the article, especially like when I was probably like a mile away from my home and, you know, police officer stopped my dad and my, well, our family. And, you know, that fear that ran through us is like, it's true because came up with this like hand on holster and like, I'm just like, okay, what's going on? You know, it's, it's little things like that, that, um, continue to, 
sit with us, um, that keep this fear within us, and it's what we go through. And so when people say, uh, you know, we don't want to have politics in sports, um, you know, I wouldn't even really say it's politics. I'll say it's our lives. So you don't want our lives, our experiences in sports, you know, uh, I don't, I don't agree with that. Taylor, I wanted to ask you, uh, you were at the alternate site when the season started and then when guys walked away and boycotted games for racial ju uh, justice. We saw it firsthand watching the big league players. What was mm -hmm. kind of the mood at the alternate site during this time? So this is when I was with, uh, I was with San, San Diego, Diego, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is when I was within, within, with San Diego. And uh, one of the things that, uh, we had we had a meeting, and I, like I said, I talked about this in the article. We had a meeting, and you know, nothing was said about it. And I'm not saying that uh, certain guys didn't. I don't know if it was if, if certain guys didn't care, or I don't. It doesn't. Certain people probably don't know how to go about it. Uh, they don't really understand how to talk about race because certain people think it's, it's you know it's a touchy subject. Um, it is, and uh the guys there they like i said first hand first class everything within that organization uh i just don't think that certain people uh understood how to go about it um and i hope i said that the right way um i don't want to make it seem like i was uh like talking about anybody or anything like that but I don't think that people understand how to go about it and mm. they might be nervous. They might be shy about it um, or timid about it. I'm not sure, but I do know that there wasn't a conversation. It was a, and kind of like felt like a normal day to be honest. And so, like I said, the guys that, you know, that were there, they're black. We, we talked about it. Um, you know, we were like, man, you know, this is crazy. Like we're actually not playing games. Like we didn't go to the game. Uh, we usually sit five innings uh, for, the games we didn't go there and uh like i said i don't want to make it seem like i'm like calling anybody out or anything like that i just don't think that certain people know how to go about having these conversations because they think that uh they don't they don't that well I don't, I don't know how people really go about uh they know how to go about these conversations uh you mentioned you were with the san diego padres uh now of course you're with the seattle mariners as part of a big deal that happened on trade deadline day. Here are the, the details. Um, this is now your third organization, Taylor, and, and you're obviously still a young man. I'm wondering what was your reaction when you heard the news and how has the adjustment been? So my reaction was, wow, okay, we got another team. And <laughs> like I said, it's always, it's always nice to, uh, it's always nice to be wanted. And uh, they traded for me along with uh, three other guys and I couldn't be even more, uh, happier because uh, I know the guys within this organization. I know certain guys that have been uh, all across this uh, organization. I've played with certain guys. I've played with guys uh, within this organization. And I was very happy when uh, I saw the team that I was getting traded to because, like I said, I just know the people here, uh, where they are, um, excuse me, how they act and everything like that. I was excited. I was really – I. I I, I smiled. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, hopefully you can gain some traction there. Hopefully you're there for a, for a very long time. I know Mariner fans are excited to have you. Taylor Tremell, Taylor Tremell from the Seattle Mariners, an article in the Players' Tribune, the headline, Baseball is Not Black Enough. Taylor, thanks for the time, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time.